There we go. that one, but it will be very happy with me for having done that, so. Oh, I did need that one after all. Now! 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 There's got to be a better way. Now. There we go. Now. Damn it. Okay. Tiny help them float. Nope, not like that. Then float. Damn it. Feels like it should not be hard, but it's hard. Bum, boop. God damn it. God damn it. Sure. Okay, just check. Just checking. That's a beautiful look at that like nebula in the background. That's beautiful. That's new. Why did my controller vibrate? because these guys. What are you? Little, little fountain that's spewing little dots. Not, not the dots I need, I don't think.
that's cool that it like lines up with the moon practically. That's really cool. I don't think there's a lot I can do here. So maybe I have to unlock more. Oh. That's probably important. That's very important. I thought it was a fountain, but it was a stem. Yeah, that'll help. Ooh, and they make a nice little noise when I step on them too. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, <laughs> glad I went exploring before I uh, looked up. Otherwise, I would have come all this way for nothing. But that is all the dots we need. And this looks quite a bit like that title screen, doesn't it? playing around with the gravity already, but that one in particular was really cool. It's going to lead me all the way to the top. Yeah. Okay. And now, one last check to make sure we're still recording. Yeah, I was going to say, there's still time for a final showdown, buddy. Oh, but it's like severely weakened, it seems like. That was, yeah, that's the form of a person now. Muck. This looks like the very first area, but obviously now it's not looking too good. <sighs> yep. 
Yeah, that statue is a lot less ambiguous than the other ones. Oh, and that's the that's a broken finger. I also noticed like that picture, that chunk of face that we saw is the same one that was missing from the statue that I mentioned looked so striking because it was missing the face. Which is good attention to detail of like continuity of literally physically what happened to the statues. I don't think there's anything on that one. I don't think this is the time to go looking for extras. This area also feels very Hollow Knight-y, weirdly. Did those clovers sprout up as I walked past? Interesting that I can still sing, but it's colorless and doesn't seem to affect much. I'm, I'm all of a sudden, oh my god, all of a sudden I'm terrible at platforming. This is the starting, like, introductory cutscene starting point. I don't, I don't know how I'd feel about this game if I hadn't found the one statue telling me, like, <laughs> cluing me into what this game is actually about, but, like, with that knowledge... <sighs> this 
game's really good. <sighs> okay. Let's see what comes next. Hey, that's a real goddamn good game. <laughs> and like that, that added bit. I should have seen it coming. The stars were going up into the sky, like that. That makes it a way more clear, but, and I guess, you know, there's different ways you could interpret it. I, I just figured the main character was the one grieving someone else, but with the statue being the one to cry at the end, and then, and then holding the hand out so that the main character can go up into the stars, it seems like it was kind of the opposite. The statues represent the people who are grieving, which makes sense. That was the, the statue we found was literally representing a stage of grief, so that would make way more sense. Um, but the idea that this main character, like, travels the world to bring color back, but in the end still has to go. <laughs> it's a really good game. It's a really good game. Um, I think I would have thought that ending was like nothing if I hadn't found the one statue. I'm really glad I did. I feel like I would feel very differently about this game if I didn't realize what it was actually about. And I wouldn't have realized what it was actually. I might have like slightly picked up on it with that final farewell to the statue, but um, that... God, I'm just like, I'm thinking back now, and like, opening cutscene is these two, the statue and the main character being connected, and the statue, the, the main character loses her voice, and the statue crumbles, and like, you could very much read that as main character dies, and the person represented by the statue is literally like falling apart because of it. And it's all the journey of helping build the statue back up so that she can let her go. God, this, this game's really good. I was also really, really worried when the when the kind of grief monster snatched her up and there was the... It, it's a very long shot of, of her floating up through the air. I really thought credits were going to start rolling during that and it's like... Yeah, you got the bad ending. Go get all the extra dots to get the secret ending. <laughs> I was really worried it was going to be that. It's like, Signalis has a secret ending, but as long as you get past the fake ending, all the, the, the main endings that are not the secret ones are still satisfying conclusions to the story. Um, I've never loved the idea of... I mean, Nier gets away with it. But even Nier, I think the, the initial ending is still like a decent conclusion. 
I've never loved the idea of a default ending. Hey, Nomada, fucking great job. Absolutely fantastic. It sucks that the studio is so small because it means the credits are short, which means I, I can't... I have less things to talk about. I have less time to talk about what I want. Visit the gallery? I'll visit the gallery. Hell yeah. Um... Where even was I? Um, I've never loved the idea of like a default ending being a not very good ending, and you have to do all the extra stuff to get a, a satisfying ending. So I was really worried that's where the game was going, and and when the credits did not roll, I was kind of relieved. Um, I love the. I know. I know. Everyone cites Avatar as the main iteration of it, but we'll never get tired of like character being almost overwhelmed by some supernatural force and it seems like they're completely taken over but there's like one beacon that pushes through and and wins out so like seeing the kind of um the the darkness start to consume her as she was singing but she just keeps singing and that's enough was like really powerful um this game was really good this game was really good, and I really feel like I'd give it, like, I would have given it 7 out of 10 if I hadn't found the one statue and, and put together all the subtext. Oh, chapters on the extra screen. Interesting. But let's, let's get to gallery. Yeah, nice. Very good concept art. Very good. Like, just 10 out of 10. They, they knew exactly what they were going for. It's interesting that the character design, like, it's a much more um, multi-patterned kind of poncho that she has and then initially we eventually get to the um design that they kind of stuck with um fucking beautiful game gizmo we get gizmo concept art oh that's fun that's cool Yeah, that's a that is a. They have unused works. The soundtrack's already so good, and you have more for me. It's a very short game, so I can understand if they hired the guy, um, to do a full soundtrack, and then we're like, we don't have enough scenes for all of these. <laughs> Um, speaking of music, something I really loved and um, that I thought was really cool and original is um, organ is almost always used to be creepy, and it's very effective at it. It's, 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 I fully support that, but you know, JoJo uses the organ to be creepy. I feel like a lot of other like action movies will use the organ for their bad guy. Um, Davy Jones's theme from Pirates of the Caribbean is organ based. Um, the organ is pretty much always used to be creepy and even this game did it for the sandstorm um the organ pipes up there for a little bit um but that very last sequence using organ in like a triumphant and um uh not even happy but just i i think triumphant like overcoming um trauma uh kind of theme that whole that whole build up to that story wise really worked i really love the use of organ in that song as well um yeah i'm so curious what i would have thought of this game if i hadn't found that one statue but knowing what all of this is meant to mean adds so much to it and much like again it's just like signals of like are you guys crazy that you would keep that a secret and only people looking for all the secrets of the game would find that? I feel like I barely found that statue. I feel like most uh, people playing through this would have never pieced that together. But again, I'm you're crazy for keeping it secret, but also it's so effective. It, it works so well. Once you know, it works so, so well. Like, 
that ending was was a gut punch and a hug all at the same time a gut a gut punch and a bear hug um and like hats off for that that's that's that is impressive um yeah this game's really good i'm 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 just curious i'm gonna look up really quickly if there's like i would not imagine there's like hidden endings but i am curious if there's anything like that There's one ending. There's a secret cutscene if you collect all specific items, and it will tell you more about the story, but the finale is always the same. I'm curious. Okay, I'm, I'm probably going to play this more on my own. Um, but I don't think it's worth recording all of that. So I am going to spoil myself. I'm going to watch the scene. And I'll edit it in here as well. Um, but um, I'm also going to go back and then earn that on my own as well. Because I'm just very curious what, what that entails. even noticed that that would have been there. Oh yeah, it's like a cutscene cutscene, even more than most of the game. That's interesting. I, actually, I I disagree that that explains more of the story. I guess it, it clarifies that um, these are two real people and that the gameplay is like representative of representative of something that is not actually happening, but is but that is still about these two characters who know each other. That doesn't really explain a lot. It doesn't explain much more than what I had already picked up on from finding the depression statue. Um, so I still love that that's there. I, that's a really sweet, beautiful cutscene, and I think it does add something and it's, it is a good, um, kind of reward for collecting all the bonuses. Um, but the first article I read was like, yeah, the extra cutscene explains more about the story. It doesn't explain that much. It's just, you know, if you already know, then this will be added, like, you know, another nice, cute scene but um, I, I wouldn't say it adds more, uh, more plot. Um, regardless, with that scene or not, this is still an absolutely beautiful game. Um, I'm so, so glad I caught on to what it was going for because that makes the ending so much more impactful. Um, but even without that, it would have been a, a, an excellent game. Like I said, just beautiful gorgeous visuals um sound design on point it, it, it's a very mini metroidvania of um collect more powers and then get more places 
but I think it does that very well. Considering it's trying to be a pretty short contained game, it adds just enough to the formula with every level to keep you kind of on your toes and, and keep you going. Um, and yeah, again, it is, it is baffling. I, I, I mean this in a, as a compliment, I mean this in a good way, but still, much like with Signalis, just baffling to me how much subtext there is that you might not pick up on if you're not paying attention that makes the game so much deeper and more meaningful. And I'm so glad that I got it. I'm, I'm just, I'm very thankful that I was able to have that experience and that realization and looking back and understanding what all of this is representing. Um, Cause that, that visually, audio wise, game is beautiful and it, once you have the subtext the storyline of the game and the meaning of the game makes the beauty of the game like 10 times greater that it adds so much with so little that it is it, the, it's fantastic knocked it out of the park this game was great I think that's all I got off the top of my head. It's getting pretty late, but oh my god, that was that was such a wonderful experience. So, thank you. Have a safe trip home, everybody.